guys, welcome back to Liz and Lou. Today, we're taking Lou to the vet. So it's 10 o'clock now, we're just sitting in the car. We just got in the car, we're still at my house. Um, and I just wanted to start the video here. Just show you guys a couple things I do for Lou to get him ready for the vet. So first of all, we exercised him. I took him outside and we played fetch. And I made sure he went to the bathroom, so if he gets a little excited in there, he doesn't go. Another great thing, to lure him onto the scale so they can weigh him, I have these treats. I've had these in a video before. They're Merrick's Power Bites. Um, they're all natural real chicken recipe with omega fatty acids and added minerals for your dog. So he loves them. And they're just like so rich in um, smell. Like the smell is so overwhelming. I feel like that's why like they're they're like so potent um he can smell them and he just gets lured like see so i think i'm going to lure him onto the um onto the scale with that because sometimes i have to like pull him on he's like a little bit nervous at the vet and also since I have a nervous dog who does tend to nip. I do have my Baskerville muzzle and I'm just going to latch it with the clip right here. Um, it also has a little loop to connect to the collar, but I don't think we'll need that today. Um, Louie is pretty good at the vet just because it's like not his territory. So he's like kind of sketch about it, but he is like timid and he'll kind of like do what you say just because he's in an unfamiliar place. Like he'll trust me versus like being at home and feeling very comfortable to nip or bite somebody um, on his turf. Um, so I don't think we're gonna have to deal with any of that today. If you're new to my channel I make dog videos with this guy please subscribe if you like Australian cattle dogs or if you like dogs in general I have all of Louis's vet information and vet history in this plastic bag this is great for traveling um, I was actually in Arizona last summer and he needed a Bordetella shot and I didn't have it and um, the vet there was asking me for paperwork and I had all of this so we could go through it see that he didn't get it then they administered it to him um, it's just a good thing to have like a hard copy of things like your vet could always send things to that vet but then that takes a long time it's just great to have it right there um, a hard copy and this vet has all of his info but like I, I don't know I like to bring it anyway so yeah we have some treats we have his muzzle in case um, he gets a little nippy <laughs> so today for Louie I love how he's just chilling back there so today for Louie he just needs his heartworm tick panel test which is basically a test that tests for like four different things I know two of them um, one is for Lyme's disease one is for heartworms and I think there's two other things they test for um, so they're gonna test for that um, draw his blood and everything and then it's just like a regular checkup he needs so yeah we're gonna get that done and over with before we head out for the winter to Arizona because I really want him to be all set on his vet papers and um, we also need to get him uh, like tick medicine and they won't let you uh, buy that unless it's approved from your vet and the vet won't approve it until you get a vet visit so basically this is just wrapping up everything for Lou before we set out on our trip all right, so we're gonna get going here, so we're a little bit early. I will get back to you when we're at the vet. Louie, up here. Come here, Lou. Okay, so we're at the vet now, and um, it's just gonna be like a little while before we go in, like 10 minutes or so. He's sniffing me. Um, because they're taking care of like two other dogs right now and um, so I'm sitting in the car with Lou I didn't bring him in sometimes when we're here and I have Nick with me I'll have Nick go in with me and hold him there and he's okay but since it's just me like I think he might get a little too nervous and I just don't want to sit there with him um, and have him just like build and build anxiety so we're just hanging out in the car for now and she said like when I see a little lab and and a collie come out then we should be good to go so then I'll bring him in then and I'm gonna put his muzzle on and bring the treats I have treats in my pocket Louie come here it's like sitting in the back we have your treats come here sit sit good boy yeah and I just wanted to say like 
if you're ever nervous to bring your dog to the vet just make a plan and the vets are usually very understanding they know dogs are sometimes mean they know that dogs are sometimes aggressive they know that sometimes dogs can get anxious um, and they may act out at the vet like no dog really likes the vet do they um, but yeah just like make a plan and that will make you feel more you know like you're ready and less anxious um, because I do get a little nervous because, you know, like he gets, he might get nippy, but he's never gotten nippy at the vet. Um, so I'm not too nervous, but you never know what could happen. Um, they could touch him the wrong way and he goes and nips, you know, so I'm going to be safe and I'm going to have my muzzle on him and that makes me feel better. So whatever makes you feel, um, safe, no trouble is going to happen, then you should do it. If we we're sitting in there, he'd be crying and whining and very scared and we're just sitting in here. I just put his muzzle on and he's just chilling and um yeah he seems a lot more calmer than if we were to like sit in there and have people stare at him and dogs are walking by and you know like me just scrambling to try and keep him at sit like perfect you know and like no dog is perfect but uh you know like they get up they get down they walk around they're crying and people are watching and you know you can just sit in your car and he look how like He's so calm. And then when he's ready, when they're ready, you can just bring him in and get it done and over with. Yeah, so we're just waiting here and I'll get back to you guys um, after we go in. Okay, so that went really well. We are done. He just cried like he's crying right now, like the whole time. Um, I have to go back inside though because uh, well, they're doing the test right now. So I have to wait for the results a little bit. I think I'm just going to sit inside and then we're going to have to pay. Um, but yeah, he did really good. Uh, I had treats for him, lured him up onto the scale and I think he did great. He was just really nervous, like see him panting and he was like crying, but no barking, no trying to nip. And he is a big hunko, 61 pounds. All right, I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so we're on our way home from the vet right now. And you can see he's not wearing his harness and seatbelt, which I'll get to later. I feel bad, but I'm literally, I live 10 minutes away from the vet and I'm going 30 miles per hour, so please do not leave me hate in the comments. Anyway, <laughs> we're on the way home from the vet. I'm so excited, like at how good he was. Like he was nervous and he was like whining, like crying. Um, just like a ah, ah, type of, wait, I gotta fix my camera. He was like whining, but it was okay. Like he didn't try and nip anybody. And when we first went in, there was like this really, really wild uh, yellow lab and it was going off at Lou, like trying to jump and the lady was trying to pull it away. And uh, I just like went right past them into the medical exam room. And then Lou and I sat in there together for like 10 minutes before the doctor was ready to come in. Um, and I actually found that Louis was listening to me more. Like he was nervous and he wanted direction. And I just scooted his butt. There was a little chair I was sitting at. I scooted his butt right against it and I said sit and I had my treats and I was feeding him treats every so often just to show like it's okay here. You get treats here, you know? And um, yeah, like all he was doing was kind of just like whining but he was listening to my commands. Like usually when he's distracted and he's nervous, he will not listen to my commands but he was listening to every command I told him to come here and sit and he did and he sat right next to me and waited for the doctor's assistant to come in and she just you know told us what was gonna go on it's actually just heartworm and tick panel test I thought it was like a four-way test but it's just those two things and he passed he's negative for both so that's super good um, now I can get him some heartworm medicine to prevent that because if you didn't know if your dog has heartworms and you give them the medicine, it could actually like kill them because it if the heartworms are already in their heart and you give them the medicine, that's like trying to kill them. Um, and it really messes them up and it's actually bad to do that. That's why you have to get the test to make sure they're negative before you give them the medicine. So I can do that and now I can give him his next round of Provecto, which is um, a tick 
deterrent. It kills ticks. It's a little biscuit that he swallows and he's good for three months. Um, and the ticks just bite him, but they die. My camera is so wobbly. Maybe I should get back to you guys when we get home, okay? But everyone, throw down in the comments how proud you are of Lou for making it through the vet. It's not so bad, isn't it, bub? It is not so bad. All right, we'll get back to you guys when we get home. Okay, okay, okay. We survived. Woo! All right, well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Please comment below and tell Lou he was a trooper. He was a good boy today. I'm very proud of him. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.